This creature is a sea hare. When you gently press a sea hare, it starts to release this purple ink. What could this ink be? Today, I went to the sea to catch sea hare. It's a great spot to find sea hare when the water is shallow and surrounded by rocks. Since sea hare feed on seaweed, we need to look around the seaweed area. Here, I found sea hare too easily. It wasn't just one, but there were several gathered together. However, these were small in size, so I tried to find larger sea hare. Right next to the rock crevice, I've discovered a rather large sea hare. This is indeed a sea hare. What kind of creature is a sea hare? Sea hare are marine gastropods, like sea snails and abalone. They move around like snails with their foot on the underside of their bodies. And they have two pairs of antennae on their head. The front pair is responsible for sensing touch, while the upper pair detects chemicals. This part resembles a rabbit's ear, which is why they are called sea hares. These sea hares can be cute, but there are also species that grow to be close to one meter in length. Sea hares are quite large among marine gastropods. Their eyes are located just below the antenna. However, sea hares have some unique features compared to other marine gastropods. They don't have an external shell. On the back of sea hares, you can only see the soft, crawling part. This is because the shell degenerates and is located inside the body. So, how do they protect their soft bodies from predators? Firstly, they have muscular wing-like extensions on the upper part of their body. These extensions flutter in the water, camouflaging them like seaweed. Additionally, and there's one more fascinating defense mechanism. If you put a sea hare in a container and gently press on it with your fingers, then it starts to release purple ink. It can release quite a significant amount. When they feel threatened, they secrete purple pigments from the glands in their upper body to ward off predators. They create purple ink using chemicals found in their prey, such as algae. The substance they secrete can disrupt the senses of their predators. In some species, the ink may be toxic. And interestingly, some species can swim with wing-like muscles on their backs. Isn't it fascinating? Lastly, sea hares have a very unique mating behavior. Sea hares are hermaphroditic and mate as if they are hugging. However, they can also engage in simultaneous mating where multiple individuals connect in a row. Therefore, they are often found in which several individuals are intertwined. After mating, they attach their eggs to rocks for incubation. So, if you take a look at the crevices in the rocks in sea hares' habitats, you can easily spot these eggs. These egg masks can contain tens of millions of eggs. Sea hares are incredibly prolific breeders. So, there's even a saying that, if all their eggs were to hatch and grow into adults, the earth would be covered in sea hares. However, fortunately, sea hare eggs and larvae serve as prey for various marine creature, which helps regulate their population. This video ends here. If you've enjoyed it, please consider subscribing.